Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 5th of 2021. Well, it is titled Earth and Moon. So what do we see here? Well, an image that you don't often get to see, seeing two objects that we're very familiar with our Earth and our large natural satellite that we call our moon. And we see them together. Now, normally we don't see them together because we may be standing on Earth looking up at the moon. Or we may have pictures from the Apollo astronauts on the moon looking back at Earth. But to see them both in space is something relatively rare. So here we see them generally in the same direction. And this is actually a short video clip that was taken by the Galileo spacecraft 30 years ago as it passed Earth. Now you may be wondering why is the Galileo craft launched from Earth heading to Jupiter passing by Earth? Well, it was used as a gravitational assist. So one way we use to save fuel and to speed up the spacecraft is to allow them to fly past other objects and use their gravity to boost them and accelerate them to much higher speeds. And that allows us to save a significant amount of fuel without having to launch them and as, with as much fuel but does does take a little bit longer. So it'll take a longer time to get to Jupiter because it has to travel around and it may travel in towards the inner solar system first then pass by Earth and then head out to the outer solar system. So we've used this a number of times. In fact, most uh, spacecraft launched recently into any parts of any parts of the especially the outer solar system have used this to be able to accelerate them. But let's go ahead and take a look at the video clip here. And as we play it, we see our Earth in the center and then the moon orbiting around that. Now you may look like the moon is getting closer to and then further from the Earth. But that's not the case. It's simply a matter of a three dimensional orbit that we're looking at in two dimensions. You'll also note that they are both in a quarter phase. So they are it would be looking at like looking at the first quarter moon. And it kind of emphasizes to us that phases simply do not have just apply to the moon but apply to any solid body in the solar system. Anything that shines by reflected light, which is really everything except for our sun, would exhibit phases. We normally don't see phases from a lot of objects because we're looking at them from close to the sun. So when we look at the outer solar system, things like Mars and Jupiter and Saturn don't appear to undergo phase changes. However, they actually do if you can get out beyond them and look back towards the sun. We do note phases for Mercury and Venus and the phases of Venus were one of the things noted by Galileo that told him that it had to orbit the sun and not the earth back in the 1600s. So that was our picture of the day for September the 5th of 2021. It was titled Earth and Moon. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Firefly Milky Way. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.